This video will discuss calculating the mean and standard deviation of a sample. I'm going to use actually two samples and I'm going to calculate the means of both of them and both of their standard deviations as well. I do this to make a comparison. To calculate the mean of the first sample, I need to add up my data points. So I need to add up in data set 1, I need to add all these values together, and then I'll divide by the number of data points that I have. Well, perhaps I should count my data points just to know that number. And I believe I have 7. I'll number them here, 1 to 7. And if I add these up, I'll get what's known as x bar, the mean of the sample of x. There we go. And so x bar is going to equal the sum of these divided by 7. And if I add them up, I believe I get 560. 560 divided by 7 is 80. Now I can't lie, I cheated a little bit. I made my first data point 80, and then I went up 1 and down 1 on my next two data points. So the average for those three is still going to be 80. And then I went up 2, down 2, and then down 1, up 1 on the last two. So I kind of maintained a balance point around 80. And if you don't believe me, you can add all of them up. You'll get 560. Divide by the seven data points, and you'll get 80 as your mean. I'll do the same thing in the second data set. I also have seven data points, and I will number them accordingly. And from those seven data points, if I add those up, I will also get another x bar. Maybe I should make this x bar 2, and I'll make this one over here x bar 1. That to correspond with data set 1 and data set 2. And so x bar 2 equals, well, once again, I know it's going to be 560 because I rigged my data. What do I mean by rigged? Well, I started with 80, then I went down 10, up 10. Up 5, down 5, up 2, down 2. So I, I, I maintain, again, a balance point around 80. I divide by my number of data points, and I find that this data set also has a mean of 80. In order to calculate the standard deviation of these two data sets, I will need to create a new column. In data set 1, I'll start there. I'm going to create a column called x minus x bar. And I'm going to create another column called x minus x bar squared. And I'll draw a line down there. And x minus x bar, well, in the first one, it's 80 minus 80. It's equal to 0. In the second one, it's 81 minus 80. Again, when I say x minus x bar, x are these values here. And x bar is the value down at the bottom. So 80 minus 80 for the first one is 0. And 81 minus 80 for the second one. That'll equal 1. And I'll do that in my head for the rest of them. 79 minus 80. I'll do that one out first. That's a minus 1. 82 minus 80 is 2. Minus 2. Minus 1. And 1 for the rest of those. And now for the next column over here, I'm simply going to square those values that I just found. So 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and so on. To continue in the calculation of the standard deviation, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to sum total my x minus x bar squares. I'm going to sum total this column. And when I sum total this column, I will get 2, 10, 12. And in order to find s squared, that's going to be the variance. I'll label that for you. s squared is the variance. I should probably label x bar. That's the mean. In order to find s squared, the variance, I need to take the sum of this column and I need to divide that sum by n minus 1. Well, what's n minus 1? If you remember, I have 7 data points here. So n equals 7. 
and n minus 1, therefore, would be 6. And so my variance would equal 12 over 6, which is equal to 2. And if I'd like to find my standard deviation, which we'll note as s, well, that's nothing more than the square root of s squared, which is equal to the square root of 2. And I'll label that s is my standard deviation. It's also noted as plain old SD if you're writing about it. But in math, we use the notation S for the standard deviation, S squared for <clears throat> the variance, and X bar for the mean. And I need to be clear, for all of these, we're talking about a sample. And that's a very important point. If we had a population of data, the entire population, we would use different symbols. But we're doing a sample, and so we're going to use these symbols, x bar, s squared, and s. I will now perform the same calculation for data set 2. I'd like to find its standard deviation. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'd like to make a comparison between the standard deviations of data set 1 and data set 2. So once again, I will call this x. I probably should have done that earlier. I'll create a column x minus x bar and another column x minus x bar squared. I'll do these values in my head. 80 minus 80 is 0 and 0 squared is 0. That's minus 10 squared is 100. 90 minus 80 is 10 squared is 100 and so on. As before, I will take the, the sum, excuse me, I will take the sum of this column. I'll add it together to get my s squared value. And I will divide by n minus 1, which I know from before is also equal to 6, because here in data set 2, I also have 7 data points. So n minus 1 will be 6. But this time, the sum of my x minus x bar squared is going to be much different than what I got over here when I got 12. The reason is because my deviations are quite a bit bigger than they were over here in my first data set. So let's add those up. And what do we get? <clears throat> 258. That's s squared. If I want to find s, I will simply take the square root of that figure. But first, let me find what 258 divided by 6 is. I get a variance of 43. And so s is going to equal the square root of 43. Now I can calculate that out on my calculator if I'd like. I get a variance of 6.56 or so. It's 6.56. 557 and that decimal continues. Whereas over here in the first data set, I found the square root of 2, and the square root of 2, for those of you who don't know, is 1.414, and that repeats itself. Excuse me, it doesn't repeat, it continues. It's an irrational number. And the point is, we have two data sets with the exact same mean, 80 and 80, but as you can see from our data, some of this data deviates further than the other points do. So in data set 1, I see deviations of 1, I see deviations of 2, I see deviations of 1, and over in data set 2, I see deviations of 10, 5, 2, and so the standard deviation is going to be larger in data set 2 going to be larger because my data points deviate from that mean more than they did over here in data set 1. Therefore, my standard deviation here is 6.56 6 or so, whereas over here it's only 1.4 or so. That ends the first video talking about calculating the mean and the standard deviation 
of a data set, a sample. 